What's up, y'all? Another Bible study? Bible reading? Acts 1. The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After he had, by the Holy Spirit, given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also presented himself alive after his suffering, by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over a period of forty days, and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. Gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which he said, You heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they were asking him, saying, Lord, is it at this time you are restoring the kingdom to Israel? Now when he comes back, soon, that's when he's going to restore the kingdom to Israel. He's going to restore all of Israel all believers, back together with Jews who believe in God and are going to recognize the Messiah when he comes back. And that's when he's going to reign as king on earth for a thousand years. He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or epochs, or times or seasons, which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest parts of the earth. And after he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were looking on, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And as they were gazing intently into the sky, while he was going, behold, Two men in white clothing stood beside them. And they also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up into the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in just the same way as you, as you have watched him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem. That's where he was taken up from. A Sabbath, day, a Sabbath day's journey away, which is about a mile. When they had entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. That is Peter, John, and James, and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas the son of James. These, all with one mind, were continually devoting themselves to prayer, along with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. At this time, Peter stood up in the midst of the brethren. A gathering of about 120 persons were, persons were there, together. Now we think of the upper room like, a, like it was just a house with the upper room. But 120 people were there. I believe this was in the temple. And the 120 is interesting also. If we go back to Genesis, God said, My spirit shall not strive with men forever, but his, his years shall be 120. 120 jubilees is 6,000 years, which we're very, very close to right now. And that's when he's going to return. At this time, Peter stood up in the midst of the brethren. A gathering of about 120 people were there, together, and said, Brethren, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit foretold by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was counted among us, and received his share in the ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the price of wickedness, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, 
and all his intestines gushed out. He hung himself. And it became known to all who were living in Jerusalem, so that in their own language that field was called Hakodama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his homestead be made desolate, and let no one dwell in it. And let, a, let another man take his office. Therefore it is necessary that of the men who have, who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in, in and out among us, beginning with the baptism, baptism of John until the day that he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection to make it twelve again. So they put forward two men, Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also called Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all men, show which of these two you have chosen to occupy this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they drew lots for them. And the lot fell to Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. That's the end of Acts 1. God bless you guys.